All right, this is Innovative Homebrew. This is the, uh, the first model of the, uh, the mini kegerator. Uh, it, uh, it involves a CO2 bottle, uh, just a standard paintball bottle, um, and a regulator. Uh, you always set it to 10 PSI. 10 PSI, you regulate it by twisting this dial here on the front. Pretty simple. Uh, off is always at a 90 degree angle. If it's pointing straight down, then you're on. You always want to keep it in an off position. The mini kegerator is set up uh, with a, uh, a tap and uh, a shank. And it's got some coiled tubing here behind it. And then your plunger. Your plunger has uh, a bung here and then a cap with a hole in it. The, uh, the beer always comes out of the clear tube side that's coming out of the center of this, uh, of this nipple here. This side is your gas. So what we're going to do to start off is attach, making sure that this is in the 90 degree angle position so that it's off. We'll connect the CO2 bottle. As easy as that. You'll see here that as I twist this dial, You'll fill it out and it'll hit 10 there. You just slowly twist it until this hits 10. Now, if you were to undo this, you'd hear the gas come out the other end. So we'll set that aside. And now, to set this up, your on position is that way. Your off position is this way. You don't want to connect it in the on position or it's going to shoot beer out of it. So you leave it in the off position. And you'll, you'll have a full keg at this point, or a full uh, growler. You, uh, you place the, uh, the plunger in, and what I like to do, you can get some water. You just gotta moisten this, uh, this, uh, this bung just a little bit. You kind of shimmy it back and forth until it's about even, and then screw this cap on. And the cap, as you screw it on, do it lightly. You can break the little plastic on the cap and then I'll have to make you a new one. Um, I broke two last night. So then, now if you were to blow in this side with your mouth, beer could come out the other side. Um, so it's all set up to serve the beer. You'll go ahead and set up the, uh, the gas here you know, in your fridge. You can wrap some tubing around it so that it's stable. Uh, and you attach here to the other side, uh, your um, your gas, and I don't have the proper tools. Give me one second. All right, so this is the part where you need a, uh, a screwdriver. Uh, because it doesn't, it doesn't form a seal, but you've got this. Uh, that one's sealed, and then now you don't need to do this every time. Just when you're hooking it up to the different different types of bottles. Uh, so now this all should be sealed. Uh, if we take any glass, you can now slowly twist this blue here. And you'll hear that sound. You'll hear a small whiz. And now it's set at 10. You can adjust it to be a little, little higher than that. And, your beer should just pour right out the front. You'll want to put some sort of some sort of catch here for the beer, a paper towel or something. It's kind of set off a little bit so it'll hit the wood, but the wood will get kind of beat up in the process. Eventually, this will all be made out of metal, um, and, uh, uh, and all of this will kind of be a little more fine tuned. But it's a beta version. Good luck. The only difference with this one is that you, uh, uh, you'll have them fill it 
here. We're getting there. Now this is very thorough, it's good. It's thorough. So you'll, you'll, this is roughly the size of two growlers. So I've gone to many breweries and they've filled this up for me. They'll just put the tube right down in here and fill the whole thing up. You'll then have uh, this, this rubber bung here. Uh, it has a piece of plastic in it. It's a very important little piece of plastic. It goes in, in, in the bottom part of it here, and it, it's a one way. You can't push it all the way through, but you can push it through this way. This, you just snap into the top of the bung, or into the top of the keg, and it sits like that, right? It seals everything around it. You'll have this hooked up with the beer line coming out this end and the air line coming in the short end. Uh, get it nice and wet, and you place it in here, and you just shove it right down into the beer, all the way down to the bottom. It'll stay sealed, and, uh, and then you'll serve beer right out of this keg, just like you would out of the growler. Now, one key point. One key point. They're really tough to get out. Is that there's a hole right here. That's where the air comes out and it actually goes comes out of this hole here. If you have homebrew or something like that in the keg and you uh, and it's pressurized when you're doing this, the moment you push this in, beer is going to come shooting out of all of these tubes. So you need to have everything hooked up to the gas and hooked up to the tap and sealed and ready to go before you push the plunger in. And then you have to hold this little hole with your finger as you push it down in, and then just slowly thump, push it in like that. And then once you push it all the way down, it'll let air into the rest of the cake. Uh, good luck. I've included some extra little ties and then um, some, uh, some silicon, uh, silicon tape. You wrap this around the, uh, the threads when you connect any of these things so that it seals. Good luck.